The world is a very large place with many different climates. Up here in Canada, we are known for our winter weather, and in particular snow. Snowfall can halt airport operations and turn runways into slippery and dangerous hazards. So, how do airports and aircraft deal with snow? Let's explore that with an aviation deep dive. Snow and ice are extremely dangerous to aircraft. In December 1985, an Aero Air McDonnell Douglas DC-8 was flying from Gander, Newfoundland to Fort Campbell in Kentucky. Shortly after taking off, the aircraft stalled, crashing in a fireball just half a mile from the runway, killing all 256 people on board. The investigation cited the accident as being caused by ice contamination on the wings. This ice formation caused the aircraft to experience high amounts of drag and loss of lift, which caused the aircraft to fall out of the sky. Then in 1989, Air Ontario Flight 1363 crashed after takeoff, killing 24 of the 69 people on board. What was the cause? Snow and ice on the wings. Just these two accidents show us how dangerous flying with snow and ice on the aircraft really is. However, there is a solution to this problem. If you've ever flown in winter conditions, you've probably had your aircraft sprayed with a type of fluid. There are two types of fluids used to help the aircraft. These are anti-icing and de-icing. Usually, de-icing fluids are either ethylene glycol, diethylene glycol, or propylene glycol based fluids, containing water, corrosion inhibitors, wetting agents, and dye. On the flip side, anti-icing fluids are very similar, but are more focused towards ice buildups and last longer. Using large trucks with an extendable basket, aircraft are coated in de-icing or anti-icing fluids, significantly increasing the safety of winter operations. These fluids are integral to the safety of aircraft operations in cold climates. The anti-ice and de-ice fluids help remove and protect the surfaces of aircraft from ice. And lastly, the solutions come in different colors. If you've ever seen a plane with a slimy green substance on it, it was de-ice fluid. This is because de-ice fluids come in four types, type 1, type 2, type 3, and type 4, each of which has a slight variation in their color. One of the most obvious parts of snow operations is clearing the snow. Airports throughout the world use large fleets of vehicles to clear snow, slush, and other hazardous weather from the runways, taxiways, and aprons. If you've never been to an airport in the snow, you would probably assume that they just use snow plows, and you would be forgiven, because in fact, airports use many different types of vehicles and attachments to clear snow. These range from regular snow plows to out of this world looking snow blowers. Before a storm even hits the airport, the aprons and runways are covered with brine. Brine is a liquid with a high concentration of salt, which deters snow and ice from sticking to the ground. Then there are snow plows. Generally, there are two main types of snow plows, runway and ramp snow plows. Runway snow plows usually have a slanted plow attached to the front of the vehicle, which pushes snow left or right. This is because runway snow plows travel in convoys spread across the runway with other vehicles, clearing the runway in the quickest time possible. On the other side, you have ramp snow plows. Ramp snow plows are very similar as they are usually the same truck with a different attachment. Seeing as they are on the ramp and working alone or in smaller teams, ramp snow plows use a larger and more square plow to push and move snow off the apron. Almost always, you will see a snowblower following a snowplow. The purpose of a snowblower is to remove large buildups of snow and frozen ice, removing it with ease. These can commonly be seen removing piles of snow that were made from snowplows. Snowblowers have sharp rotating teeth that mince the snow before being shot out in a finer state. Lastly, you have brooms. Brooms are large rotating brushes that clear taxiways of sleet and snow while providing a clean and dry surface. Brooms are pretty self-explanatory as they are just a fast rotating brush with lots of bristles. These are the three main vehicles used by airports. However, as with everything, vehicles and procedures differ throughout the world. In this video, we went off Canadian procedures. Check with your local airport or regulator to see those of airports around you. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing or check out our other deep dives. Until next time, this is Max Langley for Airways Magazine in Canada.